Okay, hello. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at solving equations using including logarithms. So the first thing we need to do is remember what a logarithm is. If you remember, a logarithm is a power. So it's the power that generates the number that we want in a given base. So if we look at this example here, the log in base 10 of 100 is 2, and that's because in base 10, if you raise the 10 to the power of 2, you get 100. Um, you need to remember and know these rules. Um, there's another video if you need to have a look at it, uh, which just goes through the logarithm rules. But basically, uh, we're going to say everything in log A. Um, so if we have a log of B times C, we can split it up into log of B plus the log of C. If we have log of b over c, so that's dividing, we can split it up so we have the log of b take away the log of c. And if we have the log of b to the power of n, we can take that n and put it outside the log, so it's the same as n log b. So it's important that you learn these, so write them down um, and put them somewhere so you can refer to them. So we're going to do some solving equations. So this is a, a fairly straightforward one. Uh, so we start off, and we're solving it for x. We want to find x. So we start off by saying we've got 3 to the power of x equals 4. We take logs of both sides. So you put log in front of both bits, and that's absolutely fine to do that. And then we um, look at what we can do. So we've got a power here. And if we remember what the rule was with the power, the power can be taken out and put in front of the log. So now we've got x log 3 equals log 4, and we can just divide through by the log 3, and that gives us x log 4 over log 3. Now you can put that in your calculator. Just, just be careful. Just look at what the question asks. Look how they want you to present the answer. If they want you to present the answer to significant, so many significant figures, then do that. If they want you to leave it in terms of logs, then do it. So just be careful that you look at what's wanted. OK, so here's a, a few harder questions. So the first one, we've got log in base 4 of x plus 3 minus log in base 4 of x equals 3. So hopefully you can remember that when we've got the minus, is we can put them um, together and divide. So we have log of x plus 3 minus log of x will be the same as the log of all of this x plus 3 divided by x. Um, and then we can look at that and we can see, we can rewrite that, can't we? So what we're actually saying that if we have 4 to the power of, because logs are powers, powers of 3, we will generate x plus 3 over x. So that these two are equivalent. They're just written in a different way. And now we're just going to solve it like any other equation. We'll multiply up by x and expand, and expand out our 4 cubed. So that will give us 64x um, equals x plus 3. We take x from both sides. So we get 63x equals 3. Um, we're now going to divide by um, 63. And I'm sorry, I've missed out a step. Um, and then we've canceled down. So we have x equals 1 over 21. The next question, um, if we have log, uh, log in base 2 of y equals 3, find the value of log in base 2 of 16y. I do think you need to be able to recognize you know, uh, the powers of 2 and the powers of 3, um, just so things jump out at you. It will help you um, in lots of these questions. Anyway, to start off with, we look at um, log in base 2 of 16y. So 16y is 16 times y, and when we times, we can split it up by adding the two bits. So uh, log in base 2 of 16y is the same as log in base 2 of 16 plus log in base 2 of y. Then let's just look at this bit. We've been given that bit, so all we have to do is substitute in the 3 for that one. And then we need to look at this. So what's the answer to this? What power in base 2 gives you 16. So the power in base 2, which gives you 16, is 4. Um, and 4 plus 3 equals 7. 
So I hope I hope you can see where this comes from. So the power in base 2 to get 16. So you can count through if you need to. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So the power in base 2 to get 16 is 4. OK, uh, just one more. Um, so here we have if uh, 3 to the power of 2x minus 6 to the power 6 times 3 to the power of x equals 0. And we're trying to find x. I need to slow down. I'm talking too quickly. Um, OK, so first of all, just split it up and put it on both sides of the, equa of the equation here. So I've just added 6 times 3 to the x equals 0. And then again, we can take logs of both sides. And then we can use some of our rules. So we have log of something with a power in it. We can take that power out. Um, and then we've got a log of something multiplied. And then you can split that up into the two things and add them together. So log of 6 plus the log of 3 to the x. And then we have our 3 to the x, so it's a power. And we can take that and we can put it out in front. So we've got x log 3. And now we just do a little bit of sorting out. So we've expanded everything we can. So we have 2x log 3 equals log 6 plus x log 3. So we can take log 3, x log 3 from both sides. Gives us x log 3 equals log 6. So x will equal log 6 over log 3. And again, just look at the questions, see how they want the answer, whether they want it exact or um, to significant figures. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Okay, bye-bye.